Hey everyone, it's Buddy with TBM Productions and with another unboxing. I actually got a couple things here, but what is it? I guess we'll find out together here. Another unboxing video. All right, uh, we got a box here. Yeah, I know exactly why I ordered. You guys don't know why I ordered, but this is some fun stuff. This is to help out with the business and. This is from B and H Photography out of New York. Uh, they have great stuff. I bought stuff from them before, and I'm just looking at the box here. It is very well done. Um, very quick for shipping. They actually did overnight shipping. Ordered it on Sunday. Got it on t yesterday, uh, Tuesday. I'm recording this on Wednesday. And actually, what am I doing? Oh, look at this. They actually have. Wow, look at that, built in. There he is. Open this box up, look at that. That is cool. And packing, them and Sweetwater do probably just the best jobs out there. Um, unpacking, this is, this is some of the stuff I got. Uh, this is all Sennheiser equipment, so uh, ordered. Of course, I'm knocking some things down. <laughs> It's a dead cat and an adapter. This is to go from the part here to a USB-C. Have a receipt for b &H. And I have it here, because I've been looking for a gimbal, something a little different than a lot of the other gimbals. This is the Sennheiser mic or MKE. 400 mobile kit, hook up your phone, and you can record, you know, using your phone, which is, that's what I was looking for, and uh, I have a lot of Sennheiser equipment, I, I really do like their quality of product, it is uh, top notch, to say the least, and you can see right here, I did that, Get rid of this piece of cardboard. And, ooh, we got oohs and ahs. Owner's manuals. Always read your owner's manuals. I'll read those in a little bit. But just looking what's here. Got a couple of batteries. This one was floating around. Probably got knocked around from, uh, from our friends at FedEx. These are made in Germany, triple A's. Ooh, made in Deutschland. Yeah, Deutschland. And of course, Sennheiser, known for the quality of equipment. Oh, this has a little weight to it, nice. This you can either hold, or you can make it into a tripod to hold your phone, put it on stuff and record. The, the nice thing with it is, um, I wanted something to hold my phone so I could record at weddings a little better than just you know using my hands and a little more stability. Um, now this doesn't have the stabilization, doesn't it's not going to move around, but I can actually move around with this and hold it much, much more accurately than let's say just hold the phone itself. So it, it's one of the things that uh, Try to capture video for weddings is always fun, but the thing is that if I want to do it and have my phone now this also has a, another dead cat has the adapters for headphone jack which I won't be using because of the fact that I need a USB-C uh, because manufacturers decide to get rid of headphone jacks because everybody uses Bluetooth. Well, that's not true. Uh, this goes right into the top up here. Basically, it's a shoe. And just tighten things down. Now, I have a shotgun mic on top up here and I will just connect the cable 
from here to the phone and then record with the microphone and then put the dead cat on top up here so that way it protects uh, from wind. You have a volume control. You have a headphone jack so you can listen in what you're recording. And then you have power and some other controls here. Battery port in the back. So very interesting. The This right here, the gimbal, you can actually make it go up or down or you could turn it and do, if you want to do vertical recording, you can put it up to do vertical, vertical recording too. Uh, so if you're doing recording for uh, say uh, shorts or something else, you can do that. But we always record in uh, 1920 by 1080 or actually 4K and we always record in this format. Uh, we then will convert it to something else here in the office uh, to go on to a vertigo video. Uh, not a fan for vertigo videos uh, just because you know everyone wants to watch on their phone. Uh, you can turn your phone sideways. Uh, hold on one second here. Now you're back up here with me. Got this right here. Pretty much, yeah. Good to go. Again, just uh, need to plug in. And again, uh, B and H, uh, fast, fast uh, delivery on it, fast processing. Um, only bad thing is. Uh, if you're looking at Saturdays, don't forget uh, they follow the Sabbath uh, in the Jewish calendar and uh, had to wait till uh, Sunday was the next time I could able to do it. But um, if you ever have questions on, on camera equipment, uh, b and I will tell you, they, they know their stuff. Uh, they sell a lot more than just camera equipment, but... Uh, that gives you kind of an idea on what it will look like without the dead cat on there. So, record like this. I can still do everything here on the screen. And, you know, stand there and record. Or have it set up on, like, a table. in front of me, have my hands free, DJ, have this off to the side, record um, what's going on the dance floor, what's going on around, um, be doing a ceremony or something like that. Just makes it much, much more uh, easier for both Tracy and myself. And lock this down. And I'm going to put the batteries in here, put a dead cat on, and we'll come back in a second. Okay, I have it plugged in. A little green light on. I'm sure you're gonna need to download an app or something for this. I have to see. You can see a video right there. Kind of washed out, I mean. Uh, <laughs> I have moved it over a little bit just because of where the keypad is at to log into it to make it easier but still it's nothing horrible I'm not recording this very second but this is actually pretty easy to look at um, and again I got reading owner's manual a little bit more uh, read through the instructions and see where we go from there other than that I hope you guys have a great day and again I look forward to doing some uh, great uh, gig logs and video capture with this and uh, put it onto uh, social media including uh, uh, YouTube which uh, we use uh, <laughs> I'm trying to go into Bixby here uh, which I don't want to do <laughs> um, but I look, forward, I look forward to using this and see where we go with it other than that guys 
Oh, I hit the button by accident. Other than that, guys, this is really cool. Again, this is all from b and I'll put a link down below. Uh, the MKE 400 mobile kit from Sennheiser. And again, I have the uh, microphone to USB-C adapter and an extra dead cat because uh, dead cats, you know, again, something happens. I'd much rather have a backup ready than be like, oh, man, I need one of those. Uh, I cannot tell you times doing weddings and stuff like that. I, I just... I have microphone covers on everything to make things easy and life easy. Even the you know, um, studio microphone I have sitting above me, uh, everything I try to have um, uh, covers on it just because the fact that one lowers distortion. You know, you don't have the poppy noise when people talk, and the other part of it is that it's just, uh, especially with wind outside as ceremony, I, I don't want heavy wind noise. So, other than that, guys, I appreciate it. Again, if you're watching this, make sure you get the thumbs up, smash the like button, any critiques, criticisms, comments, questions, tomfoolery, or anything like that, please put it down below. We're always looking for uh, feedback back from all you guys watching out there. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel because we do a lot. We do some unboxings. We do gig logs. And we also do the DJ Roundtable show, which I'm the host of, and uh, have a lot of fun there with a lot of our DJs talking about stuff that's all DJ related. Uh, and there's a lot of things coming up from here and there and questions from uh, other DJs how we would solve that problem. So other than that, guys, uh, I appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys back here again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.